Hey guys, if you've seen my previous video, which was a compilation of Rhino and SketchUp modeling, well, this is a video, which is a tutorial video. Okay, so let's get started. So first, let's create a solid sphere by opening the solid creator, and you can create a sphere by just tapping the radius. And well, now just go to view. Now it's in wireframe, so let's go to view and click on shaded. Well, which is much more, t well, which is much more easier than creating a sphere in SketchUp, because it is already inbuilt, and you just have to type in the command sphere, and your sphere is ready by just putting in the radius that you need that for desired sphere. And we have our sphere. Now, the second step is basically how do we subtract one sphere from the other sphere? So for which not only the sphere, even the base. Since it is a uh, circular now, we will need a flat base. And now step two. Let's open solid tools and you can see the second option which is the boolean difference. The basically that does most of your work in just one click. And here we have a structure or like a out of frame, out of shell ready. Now the third step is let's create a mesh. Now we don't have to create a mesh, it's just that you have to type in poly mesh and you have your option by just um, giving density you need. So now the density is 0 0.42 and now it's 0 0.6 based on the density our mesh is created automatically and, and here we have our mesh ready in no time. Let's head on to step 4, contours. First, select your entire wireframe, entire structure, and just type in contour and click the direction where you want your contours to move. So, which is from down to up, and we have our contours ready in no time. And now, I well, now go to select just to keep your file neat and clean. Just create a new layer and put in all the contours that you made now into that layer so that you don't have any difficulty later on with the layer. And well, the easiest way to do is by selecting them and putting it and tapping in selected last created objects and placing all your objects into by making a group and uh, by making a group and uh, putting them into that layer. And well now if you can see I hadn't specified the distance between the contours that I require so that's why you can see a contours all the distance between them are too close so if you know the specific distance that you have that you want you can just type in the distance and you'll have your contours between that distance so since I, I didn't type in just delete the extra contours that we have by selecting and deleting Step by so let us extrude our curves by just typing in the command extrude curves and by selecting the curves uh, and the desired distance that you require which I have typed in 0.15 Well we'll just turn off a few of our layers so that we could see uh, extruded curves visible, clearly visible, and well, if you see most of it, well, if you see most of it is done, and well, if you haven't, so just to select the other curves and doing the same command by saving the same distance, 0.15, and well, here we have it. And let's do for the remaining.
Well, let's just keep our mesh layer on and just turn off the other layers that we created. So now, let's just extrude the curve, the, the outer mesh that we have to get the thickness and we'll offset our surface to get the depth. Yeah, basically to get the depth we offset it and now you can see these arrows all pointing out in different direction well I suggest you'll point it out, uh, turn them on to one direction such that all all your surfaces they offset in one direction and now in other direction creating uh, a mismatch Um, so let's go ahead and turn all the arrows in one direction. Here I have one direction. Damn, too many arrows. Well, if anybody knows how to point it in one direction, how to point them in one direction, uh, please do comment down and let us know the faster way. Well, just keep clicking, just keep clicking, just keep clicking. And finally we are done. Just type in the distance that you require. I've tapped in 0.45 and click done and it is a little, take a little time. And here we are done. Our mesh is offset and we can see the thickness that we want. You can just type in the desired thickness that you require and it is done. Well, I feel this is much more faster and better than SketchUp, uh, which doesn't require much work because of the inbuilt commands that we have. Yeah, well, basically it is. You can see, yeah, just the edges. And now let's just turn on all the layers that we had created before. yeah and here it is and well now just change the color of the layer and it is ready and we can change the representation also by going on view and clicking on artistic and here it is please do like subscribe and comment below for more videos thank you